Hi, I'm Dumitru from Marca, and in this week's episode, we are going to show you the LAS 25D complete test article ready for test firing. As you know, we had a lot of difficulties to find a suitable crane able to access the test stand and lift the test tank together with the metallic structure. Fortunately, we were able to find a lightweight crane of only 30 tons with large wheels able to access the muddy terrain. The weather at the test stand location was pretty bad. Heavy snow, then rain. No crane company was willing to send their cranes to the location, but this lightweight crane with large wheels was suitable for the task of lifting the metallic structure on the test stand. This vertical metallic structure's purpose is to lift the propellant tank into vertical position and to allow the team to have access to the top of the tank to mount and connect the test instrumentation. The operation wasn't without challenges as the crane's fixed legs were sinking in the wet terrain and we needed to adjust them a couple of times. Immediately after we lifted the metallic structure in position, we started to weld it to the already existing stand structure. We chose this option because it was faster than using bolts for connection so we kept the crane in position with its cables and hook loose but still attached to the structure for safety reasons. The metallic structure is 12 meters or almost 40 feet tall and the electric winch is able to lift loads of one metric ton. However, the metallic structure can lift loads up to six tons if needed for future applications. Getting the crane out of the test down location was also tricky but successful in the end and we felt relieved to see the whole operation that caused so much delay to the whole program finally complete. Everything was now in position to allow the integration of LAS 25D test article. So we started. We transported the tank to the test stand, but before lifting it, we mounted the feed system assembly to the stand together with the load cells that are measuring the engine's thrust. The feed system assembly is connected to the stand via only four bolts. As a matter of fact, the whole complete test article is connected to the test stand via only those four bolts. The system, as it is designed, allows very small upward movements of the whole test article, including the tank. During engine run, it allows the engine to push in the load cells that are measuring the engine's thrust. The maximum weight of the test article is 12,658 kilograms or 27,881 pounds. So more than 12 tons connected via four bolts that are allowing the whole system to perform small upward movements. We slowly lifted the propellant tank into position and the whole operation went smoothly although the tension was high. The composite tanks are very fragile and every operation always need to be performed flawlessly. After the feed system and the tank were in position, the last major piece of hardware, the engine, was mounted. In the following days, we'll integrate the sensors and the whole avionics and we'll start the team training for the test article operation. We want to mention that the Aerospike engine is our highest priority in spite of the fact that we are testing now a bell-shaped nozzle rocket engine. As we explained in the previous episodes, LAS25D is a testbed for a new innovative propulsion technology, a technology that is going to be implemented together with the Aerospike solution. So basically, immediately after the LAS25D tests, we are going to test the Aerospike engine running with this new propulsion technology. We have high expectations regarding this combination, but unfortunately for now, until the LAS25D first test, we can't give too many details about this innovative technology. And that's it for this week's episode. 
please subscribe to our channel and support this video series on Patreon. See you next time on Flight of the Aerospike.